there's often confusion about evaluating the following expressions. Notice how the first row, the negative numbers are in parentheses raised to a power, and on the second row they're not. And it's important that we know the difference between these two, so let's go ahead and evaluate these. If we take a look at our first example, notice how the negative four is in parentheses raised to the second power, which means the base is negative four, so if we expand this, we're going to have two factors of negative four. And negative four times negative four is equal to positive sixteen. But on the second example, but on this example here, the base is actually positive four. So it's probably better instead of saying negative four squared, we say the opposite of positive four squared. So if we expand this, it would be the opposite of positive four times positive four, which is equal to negative sixteen. So notice how we have opposite signs when evaluating these two expressions. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have negative three raised to the power of four. So our base is negative three, so we'll have four factors of negative three. And if we have an even number of negatives being multiplied together, the product will be positive. So the product here is positive eighty-one. But below we have the opposite of positive three raised to the fourth power. So the base is positive three in this example. So if we expand this, we're going to have the opposite of three times three times three times three, and the product here is going to be negative eighty-one. So it's important that we interpret these correctly, whether we do it by hand or in the calculator. Now we just did some examples when the exponent was even. Let's see what happens when the exponent is odd. Our first example here, the base is negative two, because it's in parentheses, so we'll have three factors of negative two, negative two times negative two times negative two, and we have an odd number of negatives, the product will be negative, so this is equal to negative eight. And below here we have the opposite of positive two raised to the third power, so our base is positive two here, so if we were to expand this, we'd have the opposite or negative positive two times positive two times positive two, which would result in negative eight, which is the same value as the expression above here, but notice how the expansion is different. Here we have three negatives, and here we have one negative, but the product is still negative. It is important that we know the difference between these expressions, because as you can see, the results will be different.